The meshing module in Slicer 3 allows the interactive creation of 3D volumetric meshes from source images and polygonal surface objects. We have loaded in Slicer right here in this scene um, the source data set that's provided in the tutorial, um, hand, CT from a hand, and we have a model, um, the index the index proximal um, bone, which I'm enabling and disabling from the slice from the mermal um, scene. Um, we're also going to show you how to uh, to create new objects because you don't always have the the good quality surface models available. Um, earlier, before this video started, we did a a hand creation using Slicer's editor module of a label map. So I'm going to load this label map by selecting a volume, picking that out, making sure to select label map, and then applying. And this label map will load in, and we'll see it right here. See, it's of the third finger phalanx bone. This was use, done using Slicer 3's editor module, but any type of segmentation, whether it's manual or automatic, is just can be used to create a label map. Um, you'll notice the name of this one was the third proximal, and we called it the smoothed and dilated because the process, once it was hand created, was we wanted to make sure the label map was smooth enough for a good quality model. Once the label map has been created, then uh, we come to the slicer modules, we go to surface models, and we use the tool of the model maker to create a 3D model over that surface. I'll show you just how that we pick the input volume and we pick the label map that we have, which had been smooth and dilated to be nice and ready for this, and we say create a new model. We're going to call it the, the third phalanx, and if you've done this for a while, sometimes you may have more than one, and we'll just apply this. And after a little while, the model maker finishes, and if we go up here to the Mermal Scene browser, we can see that it's right there, and that was a, we'll move this, this is a 3D model that corresponds to the outline profile of the label map that we had on all three dimensions. Now let's take this model and import it into the meshing module so we can continue our process. The way we do that is by coming over here and we select Wizards IAFE Mesh. And remember before, if we use this, we use the Surface tab and we load it from a file. There's also an option here to import a model. And then we import model, drag this down, and all the models that are in the scene are here for us to pick from. So we'll pick this one that we just created by a label map, the third phalanx bone, and we'll apply that. And now we're cr creating in the meshing module this version of a surface that's ready to be operated on right here. And so if we come in and look at the surface, there's the type of surface that's ready to be processed by the meshing module. We can now continue our regular process of creating a bounding box around that object. See, there it is. And editing that bounding box and creating a mesh from that bounding box. So this is an opportunity for to show you how that any object which can be segmented in Slicer can be imported in uh, either by reading a, a model file into Slicer and then importing through the meshing module but we wanted to show you that there is this live import of any slicer model that's in the normal scene to begin a meshing process.